Hello and welcome to another episode of How You Can Do It Too. In this episode, uh, I'm going to be replacing my brake shoes, wheel cylinder, my springs, uh, my hold down springs, um, and uh, brake adjusters that are right down here. Um, and I'll be posting a link uh, uh, taken off the axle nut and uh, that's a little bit of a chore but uh i'll post a link on how i removed that it, it didn't end up being too bad but uh again i'll post a link on that uh, what i'm going to start out with is just a pair of needle nose and i'm going to remove the springs like so and when i place these down under the car i'm going to set them just like how they uh, came off of the car Okay, now I'm going to move the bottom one, just like so. Again, I'm going to be replacing all of these. Alrighty. Now what I'm going to do is just take the needle nose on these, hold back here because there's a little pin back here. Just tick this in and twist it. You can see there's a little groove in it that the pin Falls in, and all you do is push in, turn it until it pops out. Same with over here. Hold in the little pin, stick it in, twist it. Like I said, I'm not a, a mechanic, but I'm learning as I go and finding out that these cars are pretty simple to work on. Okay, there's one brake. Shoe comes out, save a little rod here. Okay, and on this, you can see that there's the emergency brake cable that's hooked up to it. And all you're going to do is just take that, turn it, pop it out like so. And you want to kind of keep this down on the floor the way it came out because you're going to have to reuse this piece. And what there is, there's a little C-clamp. Oh, look at all the spiders webs on it. Uh, see this little C-clamp right there? What I'm going to do is just stick a screwdriver in it, pry it apart, and pull that out. And save this because um, it just slides in that little groove. Save this and save this piece because it will be going on your new brake shoes. Okay, and that's it on it. Okay, like I said, I'm going to be replacing okay, the on this part. Uh, again, I'm removing the wheel cylinder and since I'm replacing it I usually take the bleeder off and now you are going to lose some fluid and make sure you clean it up real good now if your wheel cylinder is good don't worry about it just uh, skip past this part and uh, fast forward up to uh, you know reinstalling the brakes and a uh, new wheel cylinder will come with a new bleeder so but I'm going to set that aside and then uh, Next thing I'm going to do is take the brake line off. Okay, that's loose. Pull that up out of the way. And that was a number 12 on this brake line. Yours might be a little different. Okay. Now this right down here that I'm getting ready to take off is a nut that holds on the wheel cylinder. Okay, that's broke loose. And what I do, I don't know if you've seen that or not, but uh, it's real tight. <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll take a, another wrench bigger one I'll slide it over here like that and that gives me more leverage and you're going to want to save this uh, bolt and take it off because you'll need it for the new one When I get done, I'll spray this all down with the 
brake cleaner. That should be loose enough. Okay, and there we go. There's the old wheel cylinder. Okay, and once you um, have the wheel cylinder out, and as you can tell, this hasn't taken a very long. You just kind of want to. Here's the new one, and here's the old one. You just kind of want to compare them, make sure they look the same. And uh, what I generally do is I put the brake line on first, and uh, I don't know if you can see it, but that little plug. You need to take that out. It comes with the new one. Just like so. Then what I do is I get the brake line where it needs to go. I usually start it by hand. Okay, now I got it that started. And then uh, I take the the nut that I took off the old one and put it back in there, tighten that down, tighten the brake line down, and that's pretty much it on the wheel cylinder. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that, get this tightened down, and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, I got the wheel cylinder fastened in, the brake line, the nut fastened. And the next step I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to be replacing the adjusters. You know, you don't have to. If they spin real good, you know, uh, just leave them alone. I recommend, you know, taking them out and cleaning them and put some anti-seizing uh, compound on it just so it'll make it easier to adjust. These are pretty tight. But, uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and replace it because I got it out. So, um, that's what I'm going to uh, do right now and then uh, we'll be right back. Okay, I got the old adjusters out. You can see there there's no threads on it here it's just supposed to spin in there freely you know and uh and as it turns you know it turns on here pushes these these out right here but uh i got some new ones and what i'm going to do before i uh install them i'm going to take a little bit of like i said some anti c's put a little dab on it and then screw these in and then it should uh, get it all on there. I'm going to back it up as you can see. See, And you're going to kind of want to put these all the way pretty close to the end. Just like so. I'm going to put a little bit on here. And then just going to place it in back in the slot see how easy it goes in kind of turn it around and that's pretty much it I'm going to do the other side and then uh, that's it on that uh, next thing we're going to do is um, I'll go ahead and show you the one brake pad that had the emergency brake lever on it I'm going to go ahead and flip that over take a screwdriver put it in here Pry this pin out, pop it out, and this will come come right out. And I'm going to put that right back into the other shoe. You know, when I put the pin back in, I'll uh, take some needle nose and clamp it back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll be move on to the next step. Okay, as you can see, I got the new brake pad here, and the way I had it placed down, I knew exactly where the emergency brake because I just compared it to the other one, popped it off and um, put the pin back in, you know, made sure I squeezed it and did it, uh, clamped it on there pretty tight. And this will go in the back, which I'm going to be replacing this little holder pin. Um, I got what's called a brake hardware kit. It comes with the springs, uh, little hold down caps, new pins. I'll go ahead and get them out. And when you're putting the brake pads on, try to keep your hands pretty clean, which I'm going to clean it with uh, some brake cleaner when I get done. But just try to keep the grease down to a minimum. So what I'm going to do is 
out of this bag, I'm going to get a uh, hold down a spring. So, and then I got a new pin that just fell right here. And I'm just going to put this, pull this pin out, this old one. Put the new one in. And then what I'm going to use on here is a pair of uh, vice grip. And I'm just going to get it. Where it just kind of clamps down on there. You know, you don't want to squash it, but just kind of hold it tight. Okay, so I think we're about ready. On this part, what I'm going to do is take the emergency brake cable and go ahead and slip that into this little groove here. Like so, and kind of let it pull up to you, and then you'll see the big hole here. That's for the spring. This can be a little tricky sometimes. Make sure you got these lined up. So I should have done that beforehand. I kind of get it up in there. But you don't have to worry about it too much until you get the spring on it. Okay, I'm going to slip the spring over. Hold the pin with your index finger in the back. And then take this new knot. Get it where it just catches. That's it. As far as putting that on. Okay, okay I got the other brake shoe in. And put this in there and make sure that these grooves on both sides are on the top because that's where your little arm thing goes in with your other spring. But I'm going to put this kind of in place. Turn this this way. Okay, spring over. Grab the vice grips. Get that little slot lined up, get it in there, and twist it. And it all pops in that little groove. All right. Okay, let me get the other brand new springs and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is, uh, like I said, I got all new springs. Um, you know, if your springs are okay, you don't you don't need to replace them. But there again, if I gotta take the hub off and you know the, the hassle of taking that off. Uh, I just assume put new springs in it. Okay, what you want to do on your rod, which you should have had it in place the way it went back in, but you'll notice it's got a bigger notch here than on the other side. What this is for, this notch fits over emergency brake uh, uh, cable. So what I'm going to do is uh, slide the new spring in this little clip here that was on the car. I can get it in there. Okay, once you got the spring in there, like I said this little notch right here, make sure you get it the right way because this goes over your uh, parking brake lever. And let's see, let's get this here like that. See how it slides right in? I hope you can see this. And this right in like that. Okay. Now comes the fun part. Slipped off, but this is going right in a hole like that. There we go. Oh, all right. Now on to the next. Okay. Now I'm going to put in the new spring in the bottom. Hopefully this one goes a little easier, but slip it in this hole down here. Okay, grab my needle nose again. See if 
I can do this without tearing my camera up. And it goes in this hole right here. Hey, how about that? Okay. That's pretty much it. And um, another thing I forgot to tell you is uh, um, before you put the brakes on or, you know, before you put the springs on, turn turn your adjusters. Then you'll see what way they need to go to push out on these and because uh, like this one see when you pull down and you're going to adjust them through this hole in the back but uh, when you pull down on this side it'll push the brakes out and over here you're going to have to lift up from the hole in the back side and pull them out but uh, that's in another another video but uh, that's pretty much it um, I'm gonna have to bleed the system because I broke the the brake line. You know, uh, when I took it apart, uh, all the fluid came out, so I'm gonna have to bleed that. And um, again, I'll have a link on uh, putting the hubs back on. But uh, I hope this helped you. And this whole job took me, uh, and I'm not a mechanic, but it took me about right at about an hour. So uh, I hope this helped you, and have a good day.